What's up everyone, Saints fan, I'm back again with another GTA Online video, and today I'll be showing you guys five awesome things you probably didn't know that you could do since the After Hours DLC. Some of these are, are kind of cool and kind of helpful, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and hop right in. First off, you don't, and this kind of is a little late, so I am sorry about that, but if you're like me and you sort of just held off on selling your nightclub product and you haven't purchased either a mule custom or a phantom custom, well, you don't actually need to buy the mule custom. You can save some money and you can just buy the pounder custom because if you actually have that pounder custom, any sale over 90 crates or 90 supplies, whatever, you will use the pounder custom and it's actually a little bit nicer than the mule custom the mule custom is a little slower and it's just it's not as good i mean that's why it's a little cheaper but if you haven't purchased either of those then you can save your money and you don't have to purchase the mule i found that out the other day i was selling and i only had like 112 or something of the product i believe and it actually told me to buy a pounder custom instead of the mule custom. So I was like, all right, cool. Now I don't need to buy the mule, which I probably would have never used. Although side note off of that, and I have, I think I've mentioned this before, but if you are selling, if you don't want to deal with the slow pounder or even the mule custom, if you have them both, sell before your product, like the whatever it's called, gets to 90. Once it's over 90, then you use the pounder or the mule. But if it's under 90, you actually use the Speedo Custom, which is way faster and way easier to drive when you're getting around. It doesn't have as much armor, I don't believe, as the other ones, but it's not that big of a deal because it's a lot quicker and you're not going to really have many people probably coming after you to blow you up. So yeah, that's those are some tips that I can give you guys regarding selling the nightclub products. Now, another cool little tip. This actually has to do with the Oppressor Mark II. If you get it as your favorite motorbike, which I've shown how to do in a video about a week ago on my channel, your explosive cannon actually does more damage once you get that done. So in addition to having the health bonuses and the health regeneration bonuses for your favorite bike, it also makes the cannon do a little bit more damage. Now, the unfortunate part here is obviously you can only have one of the explosive cannon or the homing missile. And I would say most people are gonna go with the homing missile because it's a lot easier. However, this does make the explosive cannon a little bit better and kind of a decent alternative. So before, if it's not your, your favorite vehicle, I believe it takes three explosive cannon shots to blow up a car. Well, when it is your favorite vehicle, it only requires two, which is a lot easier to hit than three. So if you did want to use this to take out other people or to just give yourself a challenge, then definitely make sure it's your favorite vehicle so you do more damage with those cannons. And then another thing with the Oppressor Mark II, this is kind of cool. If you like, I guess, hiding out in places and finding like little secret places, we all know of Trevor's Meth Lab and there's been countless glitches over the years to get inside. But I think Rockstar, because it's what they do, they patched them all or most of them but you can actually simply just like fly in there with the Oppressor Mark II. It is kind of a tight fit. You gotta make sure you shoot the, the window out before you actually run into it, otherwise you're not getting in. But once you shoot the window out and you, you line it up you know, perfectly, you basically just go right in. And it's kind of cool because you can just chill in there. No one can get in unless they come into that window and they can't really kill you unless they either just get lucky with like a grenade or something or they fly a drone in there. So I, I if you want to hide out, if maybe if you're like overwhelmed, if there's a bunch of people trying to come after you, you know, quickly go on Trevor's meth lab and you're good to go, basically. I think it might even protect you from orbital strikes because it's inside of a building. But uh, if anyone wants to test that, you can let us know in the comment section. Now, regarding going back to the nightclub, one of the best features of the nightclub that I own, which is the Strawberry Nightclub, is the roof. Now, I'm not saying to change your nightclub because I'm sure everyone has their own nightclub by now all over the map. But if you had a billion dollars and you can afford to change the nightclub because it does cost money, you have to pretty much purchase all your upgrades again. I would highly suggest moving to the Strawberry location. It is so convenient to land like helicopters and stuff on the roof 
And you actually have two ladders. You have one on the left side and you have one on the right side. And it, it comes down right by your garage. So if you fly helicopters a lot, like if you're doing a lot of CEO stuff with the buzzard, then I, I really would recommend switching to the Strawberry Nightclub because of that feature. You don't have to park it on the ground. You don't have to park it in a tight alleyway and you know hope no one hits it or hope an NPC doesn't run into it to damage it. You simply just park it on the roof, go down the ladder, you're good to go. I thought that was really cool. And then the final little thing that uh, you may not know is that you can actually spawn at the vehicle warehouse in the spawn location setting in your interaction menu. That's a new option. But kind of the cool thing, just because it, it gets you into free roam quicker, if you wanted to spawn at your vehicle warehouse, if you like that location, then if you're an MC and you switch ses sessions and it puts you in there, it's actually going to kick you out straight away because obviously the vehicle warehouse is meant for CEOs. So I thought that was kind of cool just to get you right into the action or right into the the game a lot quicker and what was kind of weird it didn't even do like the loading screen that you know sort of goes down into the map it just went to a black screen and then it kicked me out so i don't know if that you know maybe a little faster to get into the game but if you like your location of your vehicle warehouse then i, I you know that's a pretty pretty solid way to to load in and to have everything sort of right away but anyway those are some things that you probably didn't know hopefully you didn't know about the about GT Line after the nightclub update. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any other little cool tricks or tips that uh, you, you wanna share with us. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content and hit that little bell button so you get a notification when I upload uh, a future GTA video. But thank you all and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.